thinking about a job in the medical profession but also have a strong interest in engineering? If so, you may want to pursue a career in the high-paying, secure field of medical electronics. I'm Richard LeBlanc. I'm chair of the electronics department here at Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology. We have two majors that are working here today. One is a broad electronics major. The other is medical electronics, and here they will uh, learn to repair all the electronic equipment that you see uh, in the hospitals. This right here is DMM, digital multimeter. This is an embedded processor class. These students are in their last semester before they graduate, and they are getting their hands on the processor for the first time, and they're doing a simple experiment, just trying to see an LED blink and watch what happens with the LED. We have our classes structured, so it'll be three hours of lecture and two hours of lab. So there's plenty of time to see that everything that we discussed in the classroom and everything you did worked on for homework, when you come to the lab, actually does indeed work. There is a lot of math involved. They will need to develop good skills in algebra and trig. The math allows us to predict the results that we would have when we put a circuit together. For the electronics, we also will have them study Calculus 1 and 2, but that's primarily to enable them to go on to further education. We have to know a lot of electronics and math and um, basic communications with other people because you're going to be working as a group when you leave um, school. You're going to be working with different people, fixing different equipment. And basically your first year of work is going to be learning the equipment and talking to the people around you. I meet with industry. There isn't anyone in those meetings that doesn't talk about how important communications is. And as much as the students think that the only thing that's important is the technical aspects, the people from industry will get most excited when somebody brings up the communication topic, more so than the, than the technical. I originally graduated from the Institute myself. Uh, went on to the workplace as a technician, continued my education for a bachelor's and master's degree at Northeastern, became an engineer, and decided to come back and share my knowledge before I retire. Many of my students have gone on to four-year schools, some of them schools that they originally applied to and couldn't get in. And I've had some that have good grades that get into their third year, so they didn't lose any time. The students have come back and said it's easy and I've had the faculty of those schools come back and say send us more like that student. If you have a strong foundation in math and science, are good at communicating with others and looking for an affordable way to further your education, check out the engineering programs at your local community college. For more information on anything you've seen today, explore our website at atetv.org. Thanks for watching.